One of the, one of the major ways that uh, uh, President Obama sees us coming out of this economic decline is through alternative energy. And um, uh, I have been um, fighting for uh, alternative energy for 40 years, and I will tell you, um, it's not going to happen. And I know it's not going to happen because everything I've I wanted a lot of things, and none of them have fucking happened. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this isn't going to happen. I'm sure it's not going to happen um, because we, uh, we, don't, we don't seem to get it. Uh, you know, the one of the first responses to the fact that gas prices was going up was this, uh, hey, I know what we're going to do. We're going to make ethanol. Mm hmm And the way we made ethanol was out of corn. Mm hmm Okay? Do you want to know when your country, if you, if, if you want to know when your country, that you, there is no more clearer sign that your country is in the midst of a massive nervous fuck breakdown is when they're turning food into fuel. <laughs> food. Mmm. Yummy. Fuel. Oh, Jesus! I can never get that oil down. You don't turn corn into fucking fuel. God damn it. Many congressmen have said uh, people, people don't eat a lot of corn, and I say, fuck you! I need my niblets, you son of a bitch. Go to the store. Corn's in fucking everything. It's in green beans, for fuck's sake. <laughs> We're not going to have alternative energy. They, when, they, when they finally raised the, uh, the requirement of miles per gallon on a car after like 25 years, they finally voted for it. Yeah, now we're going to raise it so that the cars are more fuel efficient. The argument against that was that now the, the roads will be dangerous. It's going to be dangerous as hell out there. Why? Oh, because the cars will be lighter. So? They're not going to be magnetized, fucker. That's bullshit. It's a bullshit argument. It's nonsense. You know? And that's why it's difficult sometimes to argue with some people. Because they say something like that and you go. <laughs> they might as well have said, giant Kodiak bears will rule the earth. <laughs> I started fighting for alternative energy during the first Earth Day, which was 40 years ago. Because Earth Day was created by my generation. It was created by my generation. It's not the Earth Day that exists now when people are wandering around trying to sell compostable nipple clamps. Fuck you. Earth Day was created because we were doing, oh, whew, a lot of drugs. More drugs than you can ever fuck imagine. And, and, uh, and so we came up with Earth Day so we'd have one day that would remind us what planet we were living on. I know we can have alternative energy, and I know it because when I was a kid, my president said we were going to get to the moon, and he said we were going to do it in 10 years, and we all thought he was out of his fucking mind because the only fuel that we had to get us there at that point in time was fireworks. <laughs> Let's strap these sparklers on the back of this Schwinn and push it over the cliff, son of a bitch. Strap a monkey on there, shove a, a, a cherry bomb up its ass. <laughs> We're closer now to having alternative energy. We're much closer. And I know that we can have it. I know that we can have it because I have this. I'm holding a phone in my hands, an iPhone. And don't, don't, no, no, this, in and of itself is an amazing instrument. However, it's attached to AT&T, which makes it a, 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 a fucking rock.
I can call anyone, okay? Look at this, if I'm in the right place. <laughs> I can call anyone and see this, look at this. Anyone, anywhere on the planet, and there are no wires, none. That's, it's fucking unbelievable. And we go, we act like this just, you know, it, this, it's been around for years. It fucking hasn't. It wasn't that long ago that the, the phone you had was the phone in your house, and it had a wire, and it was a piece of shit, but it was so heavy that if anyone attacked you, you could kill them. <laughs> and it wasn't that long ago um, that if, if you wanted a cell phone, it was actually the size of a walkie-talkie, and you had to dig a foxhole to get reception. <laughs> and we hold these things, and we don't even know where the fucking, we don't know where the fucking magic, how does it go in? We don't know, you, you dial a number, you don't know where the fuck, you don't know where it's coming out. You have no idea where it comes in, it's in my pocket, and I know it's doing something in my nuts that isn't right, <laughs> hey? Every time I get a call, I go, oh, fuck, 10,000 sperm have died. But the other seven are still snappy. So. You can take um, photos with this. It's a camera. You can take a photo of your friend, and they will look exactly the way they'd look if they had hepatitis. <laughs> You look swell and yellow. <laughs> you can download music and movies and apps. They have applications. I don't even have to fart anymore. <laughs> it farts for me. It farts for me. I'm holding a computer in my hand. That's we are living in Star Trek time, fuckers. <laughs> it's a computer, purely and simply, okay? Uh, years ago, uh, and not that long ago either, if you wanted to take your business uh, laptop on the road with you, you had to strap it on a burrow. <laughs> I can download three million vaginas in a minute into this. Don't tell me we can't have alternative energy. But what was more important than anything else, the reason uh, that we don't have alternative energy, I believe, is because what was vital to us and really all peoples of the earth was the ability to type that I am going to meet you and Bob down at the Hooters <laughs> for a big batch of chips. <laughs> Smiley face, emoticons, it, it suck my dick, ha ha ha. <laughs> That's what we needed to do. We needed to text. That was what we wanted more than alternative energy the ability to type a message, to command someone. I don't want to talk to this fucker, that's exhausting. If I talk to him, he's gonna argue with me. Just be at the Hooters, you fuck! <laughs> that's it. It's that simple, we're not discussing it.